This is Mischief, a stunning 60 foot by 12 foot cruiser stern wide beam built by Collingwood. She's only five years old, she was built in 2013. 720 square foot of space and she's in wonderful condition. She was blacked in 2017, batteries were new in 2017. The pram hood you'll see, fabulous condition, was new in 2017. Soul seeking satellite there. It's a very luxurious boat. She's called Mischief, but some lucky people are going to be able to call her home soon. Under the stern deck, this is large, it's 7 foot 3 inches long, and I think you could probably actually see a football team in here. Such a social space, a couple of demountable tables. The engine's under there, that's a canal line 60 horsepower. There's only 193 hours on that. Uh, there's a powerful bow thruster with this boat as well, a Vetus 95 kgf. All the electrical instruments are here. There's a stereo bottom left there. And in the boat we go. You get the feeling here of how much space there is. It's vast, very comfortable home. Down we go into the galley, I think we'll start on this side. There's a microwave and grill combi at the top. Grill and oven below, very clean and tidy. The current owners are living on board and you'll, you'll see how house proud they are. The, the boat's immaculate. Storage under the steps, there's the inverter. That's a two and a half kilowatt Sterling Pro Combi, inverter charger. There's lights in those steps as well. The Belling gas hob is here. Worktops are natural stone. Three good sized drawers underneath and a cupboard over. And down the port side here, acres of preparation surface and lots and lots of storage underneath. It's bigger than our kitchen at home. And here there's the 12 volt fridge and next to it the freezer. That's 12 volt as well. I've measured the galley at uh, 10 feet long. Here's the breakfast bar, there are two cupboards underneath it at the far end there. And a pull out storage unit here. You could easily sit six around this breakfast bar. But there's actually room in the saloon for a dining table. Side hatch with glazed windows. Supporters of British produce, the bread there and the potatoes, well done you. Huge galley. On into the saloon. It's carpeted in here, feels very cosy. I've measured the saloon at 14 feet long. The sofa, by the way, is available but by separate negotiation. There's the stove, that's a more so squirrel lock gate, it's a diesel fired stove. I can tell you it's cold today and it's toasty as anything on the boat. Central heating on the boat as well, by the way, is a Wabasto system. It's air heating, five and a half kilowatt diesel fired. Blows warm air out through ducts throughout the boat. <coughs> Useful storage and shelving units either side of the stove here. On the port side, a 42 inch flat screen television. It's got everything there. It's got the self-seeking satellite I mentioned, there's a skybox, Blu-ray player. The headroom in the boat, you probably get a feeling there it's tall, it's six feet ten inches. Down the corridor on the starboard, on the port side rather, into an office stroke spare bedroom. There's the desk. Shelf over. The bed in here measures six foot two long by three foot eight inches. The holding tank for the loo's under this bed. And then behind the door here, two good size wardrobes at the top. And underneath each of those, there's the tumble dryer. That's a Hoover Dynamic. And here's the washing machine, that's a Bosch Classic 7. I assume that means seven kilos, but that's not my 
area of expertise is a big one, that's the point. Out we go, past the glazed door. I do like these glazed doors. Another wardrobe just here. If you like what you've seen so far, to my mind, it just gets better. In we go to the bathroom, six foot six long, <clears throat> very luxurious, large shower cubicle there. That measured 34 inches by 28 inches as a full size bath. There's another shower over that bath actually. The sink is ceramic and the loo there is a macerated pump out of Vetus. Lovely room, finished beautifully. Very good size linen cupboard at the foot of the bath here. And into the master bedroom. I don't use that word often, but I think it's appropriate in this instance. 10 feet 10 long. Big double wardrobes, either side of the boat at the foot end of the bed. Drawers underneath. The water tank, it's huge, it's about, well it's over 800 litres, that's under this bed, that's why the bed sits high, but you've got some steps up. It feels very grand in here, lovely, well, I suppose it's not a side hatch, it's a forward hatch, but a hatch over the pillows. Another floor to ceiling wardrobe unit here. Dressing mirrors. And the same step arrangement on this side of the bed. This is fun, watch this. I'll press the button. Bear with me, this probably takes about a minute. In there is a 32 inch television and DVD combo. It's wired up to the skybox. If you're struggling for in-bed entertainment, there you go. Bit of a showpiece, that. Lighting on board is all LED. There's a galvanic isolator. We'll have another walk back through the boat. So much space. Proper floating home. Hot water on board is supplied from either the engine, that heats the calorifier, or there is a, an immersion heater on board. The Wabasto doesn't heat the water because it's an air heated system. And out we go. This boat is not at our wharf, so viewings are by appointment only. Our contact details are on the website, as are further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.